Good morning, welcome back to another video. We are starting this off making my breakfast protein smoothie today. So I'm just doing some coconut water, some frozen fruit, peanut butter, and my favorite chocolate protein powder. Also wanted to say thank you to Thrive Market for working with me on this video today. Got my breakfast ready to go and I'm headed into the bathroom now. I'm gonna get my hair put up, do my skincare and put some makeup on. up my breakfast real quick i am not probably gonna get like dressed until later today my sister and my brother-in-law my nephews are gonna come over for dinner i'm gonna make some tri-tip sandwiches i need to throw together some dough i put together bread dough this morning for like a loaf of like my regular like kind of like artisan bread i need to get on the sourdough train i still have not done that um i know it's much better <laughs> for you but i need to put together some dough for like hoagie rolls tonight i am not a doctor you guys know this and i am not an expert and this is not medical advice but in my wrap with me q a video that i did i was somebody asked a question about like how i knew that i needed to go gluten free or whatever and i talked all about like my struggles and ups and downs with like stomach issues and stuff and so i like eliminated gluten and that seemed to solve the stomach issues this has been like an ongoing thing for years and I'm just like not big on like going to the doctor. So I just, a little bit of a process of elimination to kind of figure out that that was the issue. So stopped eating gluten, no stomach issues. Well, a handful of you guys sent me links to a few different products. Well, I ended up ordering one of them and it's a uh, intolerance complex. So it's for like people that have intolerance issues with like gluten, dairy, that kind of stuff. So I ordered one of them, gave it a try for like an entire week and slowly but surely started like using that and then like introducing like little bits and pieces of gluten just to see what would happen because I am so scared of the stomach pain that I used to get. And I cannot thank you guys enough for suggest suggesting that to me. What a game changer. I wish I knew that that existed years ago because I have had not one single issue for the last probably two weeks now with gluten. So I've been trying that and it has been doing wonders. So I'm gonna make some rolls, homemade rolls, which is like flour, sugar, water, egg, you know, to make some tri-tip sandwiches tonight. So all of that being said, I will link the intolerance complex that I got. Try it at your own discretion. I am not giving any advice. I'm just telling you that guys, that I tried it and it worked for me. I don't have celiac. I don't have like an allergy to gluten. I just, my, I think my body just like doesn't digest it well. Um, but with the, it's like a digestive enzymes basically is what this intolerance complex is. And it like helps break down things that your body like doesn't naturally break down easily. And then from what I've read, I've done a little reading on it. It's like kind of tells your body to produce those digestive en enzymes that it may not be producing, which causes the issues. So crazy, pretty cool. My Thrive Market box arrived like right before we left for Oregon. So I didn't get to show it to you guys yet, but let's do a mini little grocery haul, shall we? Because I need to get these snacks put away anyways. If you guys have never heard of Thrive Market before, it is a membership-based online grocery store with an incredible selection of organic groceries, snacks, supplements, eco-friendly cleaning supplies, non-toxic beauty items, personal care items, organic kids items. They even have meat and seafood, frozen vegetables, and even more. They have a ton of options on there. I love Thrive Market for some like healthy swaps for some of our favorite snacks. So we've got the Annie's um, Rice crispy Treats, the crispy, crispy snack bars. I got a couple boxes of those. The kids love these and so do I. Plus I just love the convenience of ordering this right on the app and it get de getting delivered right to my front door. 
Got some of the Bob's Red Mills cornbread mix. I love to get my snacks, like my treat snacks from Thrive Market. These unreal dark chocolate caramel peanut butter bars literally taste like a Snickers without all of the junk in there. Thrive Market has a couple of options for memberships, either annual or month to month. I do the annual membership I have since I think 2018. You will make back your membership in savings and if you don't, Thrive Market will actually credit you. But I find that Thrive Market is actually, like all the stuff on there is actually cheaper on Thrive Market than the same exact product products are in the store, which is freaking awesome when you're ordering from Thrive Market. I got these brown rice cakes. I like to put peanut butter on these with a little bit of sliced up banana. Such a good little snack. I actually saved $22.92 on this order and my average savings like per box that I order is about $27.70. So definitely saving every single time I'm ordering from Thrive Market and it's stuff that I would get anyways and it's cheaper than in the grocery store. I got some breadcrumbs. I got this Rayo's sun-dried tomato pesto. I've actually never tried this, but I love all the Rayo sauces and I saw this one on Thrive and I was like, okay, I have to get this to try with some pasta or something. We've got some King Arthur's brownie mix, so we gotta make some brownies soon. This is my all-time favorite barbecue sauce, Japanese barbecue sauce. I like to make shrimp bowls with sticky rice, shrimp, green beans, and this barbecue sauce, Japanese barbecue sauce on top. You guys gotta try it, it is so freaking good. Then, these are some of our favorite chips, but these are the little snack size packs of the Good Crisp Company chips, and there's the original and the sour cream and onion. These taste just like, you know, the, what are they, Pringles or whatever, but they're better. I think Thrive Market has a list of like 800 banned ingredients. Um, so you're gonna get really good stuff on there. And then I also got a free gift and it was like this kids sip and snack pack. So they sent me a kids kombucha for free. And then also, let's see, these Cosmic Rings Berry Blast. Oh, they're air puffed corn rings, berry blast flavor. So they're these little ki this little kid's snack pack. That was my free gift in this box. There's always some sort of free gift. Orders over $49 ship for free. So it's super simple and you don't have to leave a tip. Like most grocery delivery services, you have to leave a tip, but not with Thrive Market. So if you guys head on down to the description box, click on my link. That should say thrivemarket.com slash Kristen Casper. Go to my link and that will save you guys 30% on your first order if you join Thrive Market today. Plus you will get a free gift worth up to $60. So I will have it all in the description box for you guys. So definitely check it out. Like I said, we have been Thrive Market members since 2018 and I love everything that I get from there. So I will have that link in the description box for you guys, like I said. So check out Thrive Market today, but I'm just gonna get all of this stuff put away in the pantry and the fridge. This is my burger bun recipe and I just use this recipe and then instead of rolling it into like, um, you know, circles, I do like longer, skinnier kind of rolls um, and then those will rise into kind of like hoagie rolls. And then I have, I need to stick this in the fridge, but a tri-tip from Better Beef Company. It was in the freezer. Now we need to stick it in the fridge because it is good to go this bread recipe can be used for hamburger buns it can also be used for hot dog buns or kind of the same sort of thing like sandwich rolls that's what i'm doing for our tri-tip sandwiches tonight but i'm adding a tablespoon of dry active yeast and two tablespoons of sugar with one cup of warm water and i'm mixing that up and that's going to kind of bubble a little bit while i'm doing the egg so i'm cracking an egg in here doing some softened butter i should have softened it a little bit more I actually ended up taking it out and melting it a little bit but I'm doing um, one egg, two tablespoons of softened butter and another bowl and then three quarter teaspoon of salt and I'm mixing that up. Once the yeast has started to bubble a little bit then I add that egg mixture in there in the bigger bowl and then three cups of flour and I'm gonna mix that up with my wooden spoon and then also my hands just to make sure it gets mixed up really well. Then I'm gonna put the lid on there and I'm gonna just put that in the oven with the oven light on because it gets warm in the oven and I'm gonna let that rise for one to two hours until it doubles in size.
Now I need to get the counter wiped down where I was making that bread anyways, so I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe down the entire island and then I'm gonna get the trash taken out because it is really full. <laughs> Okay, I just finished getting some content done for an Instagram for a brand, got that filmed and all done. Um, so now I need to work on a thumbnail for the vlog that I'm getting posted today. So I'm gonna work on that now. All right, it's been a couple hours now and that dough has risen, doubled in size as you can see. So I'm just punching it down a little bit and then turning it out onto the floured counter. I'm going to kind of form it into a ball and then cut it in half. And then I'm gonna do quarters on the next little pieces here. So as you can see, I'm cutting that in half. Then I'm gonna cut that in half and then half again. So that way I end up with eight of those rolls to make those sandwich rolls. And see, I'm just kind of rolling them out into little logs. And then I'm gonna transfer those little logs over to a baking sheet with parchment paper. And those are gonna sit on the counter covered for about 30 minutes while the oven is preheating to 350. So I just lined a baking sheet with some parchment paper. Like I said, I'm just transferring those over with like a little space in between each one. And then I'm gonna cover with a tea towel and let those sit out while they need to rise for 20 to 30 minutes. Okay, these are ready to go in and be baked now. Actually, I have to brush them with olive oil first. I forgot that step. All right, I got those brushed with olive oil and now I'm gonna stick those in the oven and they are gonna bake for 30 minutes. When they come out, they look absolutely amazing, but you're gonna wanna melt some butter and brush them with some melted butter. Gives them a beautiful color and the most amazing flavor. All right, I got my sandwich rolls done and I have a sink full of dishes that I need to take care of. So I'm gonna get this dishwasher unloaded. But when I started unloading it, I realized that my Tupperware cabinet here is a mess and there's stuff in here that I need to put somewhere else. And so I went ahead and just got down in there and I'm gonna get all the lids put on everything and get this whole cabinet organized real quick.
Okay, that cabinet is nice and clean and organized now. There's actually space down there. It was a disaster, so I'm happy that I got that done. I actually did that with the pantry just the other day. I was, I got some gro groceries and I was trying to put them away and I'm like, this is a disaster. So I like emptied everything out. I wasn't filming that day, otherwise I would have filmed it for you guys. It was kind of just spur of the moment but my pantry is very clean and organized now. So next time that needs to be done, I will be sure to film it for you guys. But sometimes um, it's just like you're in the mood and you can't not do it, you know what I mean? So we got that cabinet done and one cabinet at a time sometimes, it's just the way you gotta do it. So got that dishwasher unloaded. We're gonna get everything loaded in the dishwasher now and then there's some stuff I need to hand wash and then also scrub out the sink and get that all clean. Okay, now I need to get the bed made. The kids have a friend over, so they are playing, and they just did like uh, paper airplanes and coloring and stuff like that. So they're playing out there. I'm gonna get my bed made, and I'm gonna get these bags unpacked from our trip to Oregon, because it has like all my clothes. Everything in there is clean. It just needs to be put away, and that has shoes in it. So I'm gonna do that now.
I see some snowflakes again. It, I know it looks like sourdough, but it's not. It's just like an artisan loaf, but. She's perfect. And then I got those rolls for dinner in here. I'm gonna get that started pretty soon. But I got the house all picked up and the kids are out playing now because it just started snowing again. So they're all getting their snow clothes on and headed out to play. It's not like huge flakes, but there's a little bit of snow coming down. I don't even know if you guys can see it. Yeah, a little bit. Well, it is the next day. Propping you guys up on my cup here. Um, I'm sitting at the kitchen island working on editing the video that you just watched. This is typology, powder pink. Mm. Lip oil, vitamin E, squalane, it's real hydrating. Anyways, um, I didn't vlog anymore last night so I just wanted to give you guys an update on the dinner. It was so freaking good and you guys have to try it. So I will link the tri-tip recipe that I used to cook the tri-tip. I just sliced it up and then on the inside of those sandwich rolls that I made, I cut them open face up and put them on a big baking sheet and then I did provolone cheese, broiled it so that way it was just a little melty and then I you know, sliced the meat, put that on the bread and then uh, we did caramelized onions in there. We didn't do like any sauce or anything. It would be really good if you made like au jus to dip it in, but I didn't do that because I didn't have any and I didn't even think about it until we were like eating. But it was so, so good. I'm definitely gonna be making that again. So I will link that TikTok. And um, also just wanted to remind you guys to check out the link, uh, thrivemarket.com slash Kristen Casper. So you guys can join Thrive Market um, and save 30% on your first order. Plus you'll get a free gift up to $60. So I just wanna remind you guys of that as well. But I am finishing up editing this video that you guys just watched and I'm gonna get that uploaded and ready to go. And then um, I'm gonna head over to my sister's, help her work on some more unpacking and organizing. But just wanna say thank you guys so much for watching my video today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. It was a nice kind of slow laid back day yesterday, just getting some stuff done around here while it was the kids last day of winter break. They are back to school today. New semester, so that's exciting. Um, basketball starts today for both of the boys. We have to start practice and um, we still have tumbling and cheerleading and all of that stuff for Berkeley, but basketball starts today, so that's exciting. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys clicking on my videos and taking time out of your day to watch. It means a lot to me. So I will see you guys again very soon in my next video. Bye.